flip side, how important is it that your guys on the outside make some plays, uh, some big plays to get the ball downfield and maybe even score? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we got to make some. We got to keep the chains moving. You yeah. know, that's what that's what uh, that's what we got to do in order to, to keep the ball in our hands. We got to keep the chains moving. If that's through the air, that's through the air. If it's on the ground, whatever it is, we, we got to keep them off the field. Keep ourselves on the field. As a coach, do you ever find it funny? Everybody talks about their offense, which is fantastic, but their defense is pretty darn good as well. Their defense is outstanding. I mean, they got two corners as good as we'll face all season long. Their D line is tremendous. They run around, attack the football. I mean, they're, we, we respect the heck out of them. They're very, very good. How are they against the run, in particular, against you know the offensive line that, that you guys might have? They're, they're very stout against the run. I mean, they they got a they got a couple big time draft picks playing D line. So you don't just, uh, and they got to go against probably one of the top running offenses in America every day in practice. So they're very stout. Um, they know their system inside and out. You know, their coaches have been there a long time. So there's no learning curve right now. They all know what they're doing. What's the biggest adjustment for your receivers? What are those your guys having? That's not a hot ball lesson. Yeah. What do you guys have? You know, I don't know if we have to do anything different, but, but better. yeah, better. But we just got to keep improving. I don't know if, you know, I, I can't really change what we're doing. I got to keep on the path that we're getting on, if that makes sense. I got a young crew here, so I just want to come out. I know it's coach talk, but it is true. We got to get better every day in practice. I can't worry as much about Oregon. Uh, I got to worry more about, about my guys when we're so young and getting better at technique. And, and little things and playing fast, and I gotta teach them that hey, you know what? Some mistakes we might have made those first two games, we make those against these guys, and, and all of a sudden we look up and the scores are different. Oh, but the first year, the guys they were better. There was improvements in some areas. You know, we were more physical. Again, not where I want to be, but we were more physical. There was some improvement made that I was pleased, and and, and there were some other areas that I didn't think we got as good. So baby steps with this group. Yep, baby steps. Marquez has gotten a couple, he's caught a couple of passes, he's not really maybe had a chance to do anything after the catch. Have yeah. you kind of seen him you know, eager to kind of finally get his hands on one and be able to kind of do something after? Yeah, a part of that is is him not running the right depths. Maybe the breaking points are poor. Um, that's why uh, Justin can't turn him into a ball carrier yet because he's not allowing himself to be a ball carrier. He's not exactly where he's supposed to be and he's not there how he's supposed to get there. <clears throat> and that comes with experience and more technique and just getting better. He was a running back most of his career. People forget that. It's really that's what he really was a senior year as well. <coughs> Can you tell a huge difference between guys that played receiver in high school and ones that you're changing over to receiver like Cody and Marquez <coughs> and Beverin? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, like my whole group my whole crew. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah there there's so many intricacies out there on the further, especially in this offense. We're going so fast, you have to process so fast. And just, you know, route technique to blocking technique to how you get signals to just all those things are, are different than any other position, you know, especially in this offense. So it's a big adjustment. It takes a little while. Unfortunately, it's not an overnight deal. How, how well prepared do you think the, your young guys are going to be getting those plays called in and lining up because it's going to be so loud, their yeah. first hostile environment? Yeah. Well, the good thing is, is I think Coach Jones has done a great job of preparing this. You guys are at practice. It's chaos a lot. The reason it's like that is to prepare them, hopefully, as much as we can uh, for, for games like this. I mean, this, this league is as crazy as it is, and to be able to go to Oregon, which is, I mean, let's, let's be honest, it's an SEC environment, an SEC caliber team. Um, so this is going to be a great, great test of where we're at. That's tough. Josh and John have kind of stepped up on this area. You kind of see them build off that a little bit this week. Yeah, yeah, I was pleased. You know, I was pleased. They both stepped up, both made a lot of mistakes, but also made some plays too. So it was nice to see. Um, you know, it was nice to see some guys catch the ball and, and have fun doing it. So it was, it was good. It was a good confidence builder too. You saw this Oregon team in person on the defense side of the ball, I guess, last year. No, I wasn't there yet. You're not there. Yet. Nope, yeah. nope. I was there the, the morning after I got hired. Oh, there you <laughs> go. Kind of, so yeah. I didn't know if you knew much about them from in person. No, but I've seen that game on tape, though. You know, I've seen that game on tape. So they're 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 fast and they're skilled. They're what everyone says they are.